Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode On, and today we have yet again another episode of Would You Rather. This is a video series where I'll be going over approximately five questions and answering them in the most appropriate manner. So with the rules and guidelines reviewed, let's start off the episode. So of course, coming in at our first Would You Rather question, I have Would You Rather Forget How to Walk or Forget How to Talk? Now I feel like I would much rather forget how to walk considering that talking is a primary way of us communicating with each other, and in many cases that would just really stink to not have the abilities and the capabilities of doing that said action. Now, of course, don't get me wrong, walking is definitely a very important thing. We use it pretty much every time we maneuver around our houses, even the workplace, or really wherever you're going, but when it really comes down to the main gist of it, for me personally, I feel like I would much rather have the capabilities of talking a little bit more fluent than I would to be walking. Coming in at our second question, I have, if your parents had to give you one punishment, would you rather live without your phone or live without your computer, your iPod, and clean close. Now when it really comes down to it, I feel like I could easily live without my phone considering that I barely use my phone as it is. It's basically just my alarm clock in many cases and that's kind of a pretty depressing considering that I do have the Samsung Galaxy S5. So I guess you could say I really don't utilize my phone as much as many other people do so I feel like it would be pretty easy to get rid of my phone in turn to have clean clothes, my computer, and just some music accessories along the way. Coming in at our third question, I have would you rather always tell the truth or always lie? Now per Personally, I would much rather just always tell a lie considering that the lie doesn't always have to be a very big lie. It can be very minute in many cases and you can kind of skew it to still be classified as a lie but still give some opinions about the truth in many cases. Now alongside that information, if you were to always tell the truth, you know, that would definitely be respectful to a lot of people and I feel like many people would probably appreciate that especially if they knew this is one of your predicaments that you had to go through choosing these two options. However, many people are not always going to really enjoy hearing the honest truth when it comes down to it. I mean, in a version of us, we really want to hear what people have to say, but we also want to hear a lie that makes us feel a little bit better about ourselves. So I feel like that would definitely cause a little bit of confrontations with you and your friends or just really whoever you speak to. And in many cases, I feel like it's just a little bit more of a negative than it comes across as. Coming in at our fourth question, I have, would you rather control the emotions of those around you or control the weather? Now, as powerful as the weather is, in many cases, I don't really feel like it's something that I would want to consistently control control considering that many times I don't really have activities that require me to go outside in many cases. Now of course with that said you have the ability to have sunny skies and everybody's really going to be wanting to go outside and enjoy the weather or you have the ability to have lightning and thunder maybe a little bit of rain sprinkled in there and maybe some hail along the way and this could definitely give you the opinion of becoming a god or having this oh so powerful powers when it comes down to the ability to control the environment around you. But I feel like for me personally I would much rather just have the ability to control the emotions of people around me considering that that could definitely be abused in many cases but I feel like I would hopefully try to use it more in a positive way and in many cases hopefully just give a little bit more of an impression to what I would like to see in people and in many cases just to see how it would work out. And finally coming in at our fifth question I have would you rather own a lightsaber or be able to use the force? Now I'm definitely in a little bit of a position where I want both of them considering that you could be a Jedi and you could definitely go around having a little bit of fun with both of these things but I feel like I would much rather just have the ability to use the force considering that you have the ability to move objects bring it to you and away from you and it's definitely something very cool when it comes down to the overall ideology of this kind of action so I guess when it comes down to it I'm much rather going to choose the force over a lightsaber though I would really like to have a lightsaber along with it so if you guys are not going to be using yours feel free to send it my way considering that I will definitely put it to good use but anyway guys this has been this episode of would you rather of course if you guys would like to recommend questions for the next episode feel free to let me know in the comments below considering that I do take your submissions as priority one when making these episodes. Alongside that information, you also have the ability to answer the questions for yourself. Feel free to check the description of the video, considering that the questions will be linked down there for your viewing pleasure. But anyway, guys, this has been this episode of Would You Rather. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and until the next one, this has been NMO, and I'm going to be signing out, guys. Peace.